Hey everybody, it's Lorna. Um, I just got a couple little things that I want to share with you. Um, I went down to my super dollar store today because I was kind of getting a little bit low on glue. And so I got some more of my Martha Stewart craft glue. I actually wanted to get more. I got three bottles and that's all they had left. So I'm stocked up on glue again for a while. I was planning on getting about five, but they were out. And then they've got some new stuff in. Um, they got these little Making Memories brads. And they're really pretty cute. I've never actually used these, but they have kind of a little bit of glitter on them. And the little flowers and things are cute. So I got that one. And then this one's pretty much the same. It's just some different colors and stuff. So, you know, those were cute for a dollar. And then I got these. These are Shimmer brads. And you can see they're black, silver, off, and like kind of like a, I guess they're just an iridescent white. But they got a little bit of shimmer to them, and there's quite a few in there. There's 90 in there for a dollar. So that, that's all I got today. But the other thing that I wanted to share with you is I didn't actually make a New Year's resolution, but I decided that I have got to lose some weight. I mean, I, I need to seriously, I need to lose 40 pounds. I'd like to lose more like 60 I'm seriously overweight. My asthma is bothering me really bad. I have heartburn like every single day. And I just learned um, about a week or so ago, I was reading a bunch of stuff on the internet about heartburn, that a chronic heartburn can actually cause your asthma to flare up because of the, the acid bubbles and stuff in your stomach when they, when they come up your throat and you actually like rebreathe that back into your lungs. That can flare up your asthma, and I didn't know that, and I've been having a lot of problems with that for several several months, actually. So, and I know that my heartburn has a lot to do with my diet, and it has a lot to do with my weight, too. So, I'm going to try and get some of this weight off, and I dug my treadmill out. I've got a really nice treadmill that John bought me three years ago that's been down in the basement for quite some time now, and it's been buried. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he dug it out for me yesterday and got it all set up down in the basement so that I can go down there and have the TV on and get on it. And you know, being 40 to 60 pounds overweight, you got to start out slow. And my goal for today was just to go down there and do one mile on my treadmill. And I did. I did a mile. I was really super tired and my legs are hurting and my lower back's hurting. But now that I've been done and I've been off of it for about 45 minutes, I actually feel better than I did before I got on that treadmill. It really got my heart rate up. I started out two miles an hour, slowly bumped it up to three, which was a little bit too fast for my first day. My heart rate was a little bit too high, so I backed it back down to where I was comfortable, which was actually 2.8 miles an hour. But I got to just a little bit over three quarters of a mile, and I started having an asthma attack. And that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I used to walk everywhere. I used to be able to, to go out and go roller skating and, and do all kinds of things. And, you know, I'm only 43, okay? I should still be able to do this. And as soon as spring gets here, I'm going to get myself another pair of roller skates, and I'm going to start skating down along the river. We have a pathway down there that is marked for the 10,000-step program. And it's marked, it's 5,000 going one way and and 5,000 going the other way. And, of course, I'm going to go down there and walk when it gets nice, too. But I'm also going to go down there, and I'm going to roller skate that sucker from one end to the other, back and forth. And then in the big parking lots and stuff, I can try and get a little bit of my creativity back. I used to do spins. I used to skate backwards. I used to do the limbo on skates. We used to do skate races. Of course, I was, you know, in high school and junior high then, but... I'd like to skate again because I know skating would be really good exercise. So um, I'm not going to post or tell my weight. Um, that's kind of personal. But I thought what I would do is every few days or maybe just once a week, I don't know, I'll, I'll put up a video and just let everybody know how I'm doing. And I'll tell you what, I, I need some support. I need some encouragement, um, words of advice. Um, not so much really like exercise tips. I have two Biggest Loser workout videos and a Walk Away the Pounds video, and I'm going to start using those, but baby steps. 
you know, I did a mile on that treadmill today, and I ate a good lunch. I ate a Weight Watchers lunch. I'm drinking some green tea. I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to do just a little bit every day. But what I would like is, you know, like I said, some words of encouragement, maybe a, you know, add a, add a girl, way to go, something like that. Um, that would really probably help me a lot. And also recipes, um, like chicken recipes, fish recipes. I'm going to try and kind of lay off like the pastas. I love pasta. I absolutely love pasta and I love potatoes. So those are going to be really hard to, to stay away from, but I'm not going to, I'm not doing a no carb. I've tried the no carb thing and you know what? I just can't do it. Um, I do eat a uh, whole wheat bread, so I don't eat white bread anymore. And as far as my pasta and my potatoes and, you know, rice and starchy foods and carby foods, I'm just going to, I'm going to limit them. I'm not cutting them out of my diet, but with limitations, I think it'll be all right. But what I, I love chicken and I love fish and I love turkey. So if you guys have any like really cool recipes um, for like casseroles that are low calorie or, you know, anything, crock pot meals, things like that, that you know are good for you and that you know that people love leave a comment and or email them to me that would be even better but if you leave them in comments other people could see them too so um just i would i just would really really like a little bit of help a little bit of encouragement and a little push and you know some some good words if it if i come back on here in a few days and say hey i lost two pounds you know, cheer me on a little bit girls i need it i need it i need it so anyway um that's that's the plan and today's Thursday, so I probably won't do anything as far as even, you know, tracking my weight or anything till probably Monday. I'm not going to do it every day because that's pointless because you can gain a pound and then, you know, lose two, gain one, and I'm not going to do that. I've done that before. It was very discouraging, and that's what made me quit. I may even just weigh in once a week. Since I'm starting this on a Thursday, it's kind of goofy. So I may weigh myself on Monday and then just start doing a Monday weigh. And I think that way it'll probably keep me going a little bit better. So anyway, um, that's the plan. I, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And if you're listening to all my jibber jabber, I appreciate that too. And if any of you other gals want to, you know, get into some sort of a weight loss thing where we all encourage each other, then let's do it. I know there's a lot of people out there that need to lose weight. I don't know any of you personally, but if you do, then let's do it. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to go get some more green tea, and I'm going to put this video up, and I hope to get some comments and some encouraging words from all my new friends here. Thanks a lot, you guys. Bye.